Hi, this is a test review for 6.ns.2.3, fluently add, subtract, multiply, and divide multi-digit decimals using the standard algorithm for each operation. At this point, you should have taken the quizzes and passed them all, so now it's time for the test. This is going to be just a very basic review for um, what you will be seeing and the types of math operations you'll have to perform on your test. What I would like for you to do here is on each screen, I'm going to go ahead and remind you on um, what the rules are, but on your own, you're going to want to pause and complete the problems that you see in gray. At the end of this lesson, I will have all the answers for you. So on adding and subtracting decimals, what you need to remember is you need to line up your decimal points. So go ahead and pause the video now and complete the three problems that you see on this page. Our next thing is on multiplying decimals. Now, remember, when you're multiplying decimals, you want to multiply like normal. So you're pretending that the decimal is not there just for a few moments. Once you multiply, you're going to place the decimal point in the product the same number of total spots as in the factors. So go ahead and pause your video now and complete these two problems that you see on your screen. Now we're moving on to dividing decimals by whole numbers. When you're dividing decimals by whole numbers, what you're going to do is you just simply divide like you normally would. At the end, you need to make sure that you slide that decimal up that's in the dividend all the way up to your quotient box. Go ahead and pause your video and complete these two problems shown here. And the last two problems we're going to complete is on this screen. This is dividing decimals by decimals. What you want to do here is you want to remember that you have to move the decimal in the divisor over to the right to make it a whole number. So you would move it however many times to the right until that outside number, that divisor number, becomes a whole number. You also need to be fair, so what you do to one number you must do to the other. You have to move the decimal and the dividend the same number of spots. Now you're going to divide like normal, and don't forget at the end to slide your decimal point up to the quotient. So at this point, you should have completed the problems through this video. If you have not, please pause the video at this time and finish completing any problems that you need to do. The remaining screens are going to show you the complete worked out solutions. So these are the solutions for the adding, subtracting, and multiplying. Go ahead and pause your screen now so that you can check your work. Anything that you get wrong, you really should redo because you want to make sure you understand how to do this problem properly so that you don't make similar mistakes on your assessment. This screen shows you dividing by whole numbers or dividing decimals by whole numbers. Once again, pause your video to check your work and your steps. If you got something wrong, be sure to take the time to redo the problem once again to make sure that you don't make similar mistakes in your test. And finally, these are the last two problems. This is dividing decimals by decimals. All right, you guys, good luck on your tests. Now this lesson, um, or this review lesson, did not cover any types of word problems, so be sure to complete any activities that you have been given or have been posted to make sure that you are confident before you take this test. We'll see you back in class.